Now, such a beautiful uh, granite canyon, so uh, wonderfully carved by uh, the gentle waters. I bet this thing fucking rages, eh? You get a good rainstorm. Anyway, this, uh, here's an agave, possibly palmer, I'm not sure. Either way, it's, uh, you can see its inflorescence right there. You can see how these were mistaken to be in the lily family for so long. Uh, and then, uh, turns out they're actually in the Asparagales order. Some people put them in Asparagaceae with an agave subfamily, but I tend to go with the uh, Agavaceae is a family. And then uh, Asparagales is the larger order. Either way, you can get the point that these very long, uh, almost three-lobed uh, stigmas right there, and then all the stamens, all the stamens are pretty much uh, dried up and they're done. But the massive source of uh, sugar for uh, bats and uh, whatever the shit else pollinates these. Oh yeah, here's a real ripe and beautiful Asclepius lemonii. Look at it. It's got those big ass leaves, fuzzy leaves. Very, pu very pubescent, very pubescent. Look at it. Apparently, it's a hit with the uh, the pollinators here today. Appreciating it. Just massive. Going on five feet. Let's take a look at how big some of these lower leaves can get. First off, let's take a look at that the pubescence. Again, it's got to be an adaptation both to herbivory and to uh, uh, the uh, harsh sun. Even though we're at about 50 to 100 feet right now, this, the sun still is uh, pretty uh, brutal. So you got about what, like a, a foot long leaf right there? Oh yeah, look at it. There's some real nice uh, up close full frontal this yucca. Yucca species were uh, classified in the, the lily family up until about, I don't know, what, 20 years ago? Which seems ridiculous. I mean, it, I guess they kind of look like lilies and that they're a monocot, but you look at those flowers, they look nothing like lily flowers. And then of course there's that whole uh, stabby uh, li uh, basal rosette, not basal even, this is a coalescent one, but you know, that whole uh, stabby rosette of leaves thing too kind of separates them from uh, anything that might be considered lilyoid. And again, most of these have a uh, symbiotic relationship with moths, you know. The moths need the yucca and the yucca need the moths, too. Wonderful uh, granite canyon, you know, oak woodland at about 5,000 feet in Sonora. So, you know, this, uh, this uh, at first glance seems to be some kind of willow, and then you look closer and you can see it's actually in the sunflower family. Asteraceae, this is a species of Bacris, uh, probably a Bacris salicifolia. Very glandular, not glandular. Well, yeah, they're a little resinous, a glandular. I guess you could say that. This one's pretty nice. This is Epilobium, evening primrose family, Onagraceae. You get these in a, the Mojave Desert a lot as well. A lot of riparian areas that, uh, you know, get some uh, seasonal moisture. Of course, you got that inferior ovary. Ovaries behind the flower and the uh, four lobe petals, or uh, excuse me, a four petaled flower united. And then, of course, it, that long ass stigma, which is uh, so indicative of uh, this uh, evening primrose family on a gracie. Uh, you got a nice species of opuntia, but the, you know, of course, the fruits are covered in those tiny irritating hairs that get lodged in your skin. Uh, that's dissuading anything from eating them, so I don't know why the fuck, you know, I mean, can't you just let up? You know, you want something to disperse your seed, don't you want to just take it easy a little bit, let up, you know, put your guard down? Let your defenses down a little bit so something can gnaw on you? Anyway, I bet they're, I bet they're gorgeous when they bloom, you know, enormous pads on that. But I don't see, oh yeah, there you go, there's some glockids on that guy, oh, how about that? And here you got the the poison ivy that's not. Roos, probably triloba. A species of Roos sumac family. Same family as poison ivy, but it's not. And of course you got a species of vitus too. Grape, vitaceae is the family. That ipomea, longifolia, right there. It produces a big ass, almost solenoid looking flowers. You know, just the united, united petals. Let's see what else we got. 
You know, for such a hot climate, for for a desert canyon, there's a sure a lot of uh, uh, fern and lycophyte diversity. Here's a nice species of Selaginella. Selage. Remember the resurrection ferns, as you'll see them. They're, they're not really they're not really true ferns. That epilobium again. And you got the. I thought this was a man, but I guess it's a Corophanta. I guess, guess it's Corophanta recurvata. Look at those uh, central spines, those short central spines, and then just. You know, probably two dozen radial spines. But I'd like to see one of flowers, you know. You got just Myriopteris Lindheimeri. I believe it's Lindheim Lindheimeri. It's a Myriopteris. One of those lovely desert ferns. The Zeric ferns. That'll just really uh, kick you in the dick with their beauty. I'll turn that over. Look at that. Abac oh, look at that axial surface. Look at those. Look at those sorry. It's a pretty steep canyon, and uh, you know it looks a little bit uh, scary. But uh, right, chilling right there is just a, a turtle. I don't, we're gonna go see what that's about. So yeah, look, there, it's it's some kind of turtle just hanging out on this rock. You know. Right, but uh, what do you want to do? Why don't you just just settle down, huh? Just hang out right there. Quit whining, God. You see, you're just hanging out on this granite boulder. It's kind of a sketchy spot. Look at it. It's steep drop off a granite boulder in an oak woodland in a very steep canyon in Sonora. What do you look like on the underside? You gonna get mad again if I pick you up? Oh, now you're just okay. Now you're just oh, you got a lovely echinocereus up there on those cliffs. Cool milkweed over here too. Check this guy out. Oh, don't break your ass. Look at it. I wonder what this milkweed is. Look at how linear those leaves are. About five millimeters wide. See that? Yeah, about five millimeters wide. But only one, uh, one, uh, one fl one thing, a cluster of flowers. One corum. Uh, look at it, it's such a nice little uh, inlet right here near this waterfall. A dripping waterfall. And it, it, there's a whole little patch of uh, what appears to be poison ivy. Uh, proving you can't escape it. Even in Mexico, it's everywhere. I mean, I've seen a bunch of poison ivy in Mexico before, but uh, this is a massive wall of it. Look at that, it's doing so well. And then just beneath it, you got some species of cherry. It's pretty nice. I wonder what they taste like. Well, look at all the ferns. You got some columbines too. Oh yeah, are you gonna try and get some? Don't break your ass. You know what? These cherries actually ain't too bad. They ain't too bad. They don't got that much meat in them compared to the stuff that you uh, steal out of the orchards near I-5 back in California. But uh, I guess they're a little tart too. Like I said, you got Aquilegia, you got Columbine, tons of ferns, Uetura, member of the Saxifrage family. And then, of course, there's that uh, just massive cluster of uh, poison ivy. Nice ass rash just waiting to happen. Yeah, you stick your face in there and it'll cool off a little bit from the uh, Sonoran heat. Then now uh, you could come down here and continue to uh, break your ass while uh, traversing down this canyon. Do you or anyone you know uh, have ever been uh, diagnosed with any sort of mental disorder? Uh, have you, are you seen anybody to talk about any of your um, emotional problems? Uh, does, uh, uh, are you aware even of your designation as a Crotalus willardii? You know? You do have some beautiful coloration, but, uh, you know, you did seem really turned up just now. I just want to talk it down a little bit, okay, see how you're doing, All right? If you have any, any other problems with aggression in your life, maybe you're yelling at your kids. No, okay, do you just want me to go away and leave you alone? Maybe I'll leave you alone, let you cool down, all right? 
And so you could see once you get up about 5,000 feet here in Sonora, even though, uh, you know, you associate Sonora with desert, it's a uh, very lush oak woodland. With the uh, Quercus samorii, Quercus arizonica, and Quercus uh, oblongifolia.